person of our recaps, but as Nick had mentioned earlier, uh, this is the first group to actually ever make it to the championship game, so I think that does deserve a round of applause. And Nick, let me since I don't usually like to give that point, it's really my view. If you've ever, in the cinematography, you've ever looked at, they show a movie and they show it from different vantage points, how everything looks differently. So, from my view, I thought the kids really grew this year. To me, that's the most important part. That they started out at level, say here, and as the season went on, we kept getting better and better each and every game. At every position, at every person. At everyone worked hard every day. Throughout practice, we do a lot of different work, everything from our stick skills in the beginning, all the way through at the end of practice, where we have to do, we'll do our man up, man down which actually the band up team did a really, really good job this year. So they point up, we put a play in what? About last five minutes of one practice, and then we hit it three times, right? So it was actually, almost hit it in the overtime, and then Charlie had to finish it off. Then we hit it again at Spransburg, and they did a really good job with that. But everyone really grew this year to me, which is, that's, again, the most important part. That they not only grew as the cross point, is that distracting? Let me stop it, let it keep going. If you want to keep going? It's fine. Keep going. I'm, it's bothering me. All right. I'm looking this way, so I don't like this. But they did grow throughout the season, not just in not just stick skills, but I think they also matured as young men. I got to see that as well. And that's one of the best parts about coaching young men, is I get to see that maturation through the season and actually also from year to year as they go from seventh grade to eighth grade. And like I said, next year I also coach freshman football and see it from eighth grade into their freshman year of football as well. Right, with that, I'm going to start out with, I go right into it, is we're going to talk about our seventh graders. Something I do a little differently. I start at the end of the alphabet and go to the front. I am a C, so I'm going to at the front. I've, my wife was a W. One of her goals when she got married, she wanted to marry somebody at the front of the alphabet. <laughs> she was actually at the front of the line. So, one there somewhere, I said, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to start at the end. So, we're going to start out with Aiden Milano. Come on up, Aiden. That only allows you to pick up a ground ball, and you must have two hands on your stick. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the things we got to work on. But Aiden did an awesome job for us. And this year, our gift. Very nice. Next up will be Jack Swarbeck. He's not here. Unfortunately, he could not make it. He's on the banter with the change. But Jack did a real great job for us. I just wanted to make sure I acknowledged him. Nick Santabar, come on. <laughs> Nick West, unfortunately, again, could not make it. With the change of the schedule, we were able to make it with us tonight. I just realized. I know. What can you tell me that I don't know already? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 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 Nick is just a hard worker, goes 100 miles an hour. Um, sometimes we don't know which direction, but he goes 100 miles an hour and plays it all out. And at the end of the game, he's exhausted. Because he just plays so hard. He's a great person to coach. I'm hoping to get coach him again next year. And his gift will be coming. His is a special sign from Adam Sandler uh, from the Waterboy movie. Yeah, he had to carry the water bucket the first couple of games because he forgot his equipment. Uh, the guy's got the job. Then we got Charlie Volpe. Charlie's a uh, two-year player for us. Last year he was attack, did great there. Then we kind of towards the middle of the season, he's like, Coach, he plays MIDI too. I'm like, 
why is he playing the tax then at all times? So if we start playing him at some O-Midi, so he did a great job at the end of the season last year. This year, uh, throughout the whole year, did play Midi. Get a little nicked up here and there throughout the season. We took, had to take some time off here and there. But he pushed himself through it and did a great job. He was, you know, could really count on him. His special gift, this is really more for your parents. I found this neat thing. I didn't know that it's an easy pass for driving. I found an easy pass for the doctor's office. So you know, I'm going to have to take care of my paper. I stop. Aiden, come on up, Aiden. In defense, did a great, you know, as the year got along, he kept improving. Really understands the defense, understands where people are supposed to be. Played on some of our, sometimes a man down. He really got himself understanding where to go. If something went wrong, he asked questions. Right? And we were able to work together and fix things. I mean, really smart player. I really started out, I'm like, no, many need He needs a new one. And his parents went and bought him one. He ruined my gift. But I found something else for him. Aiden packs a lot. If you see his school backpack, it's like this deep. And then he has his lacrosse stuff, and it's like this deep. So I got him a book, and it's called it's Ultralight Packing for Everyday Life. So you can start to get a small one back. Aiden. Lucas. Yeah, I got it. I don't want to get yelled at. No, you're good. Lucas was our face-off guy and pretty much dominated every game. Uh, everybody, uh, we, there was nothing ever in doubt when we were facing off. Lucas was going to probably win 90%. Of it. Some games I think he won 100%. Of it. Uh, we could just dominate the face-off. When you could dominate the face-off, uh, you, you basically control the game. And he just did a fantastic job all year doing that. And as he moves up and moves on to the high school, I hope he continues to be facing off and dominating as he gets out there. And then also look forward to playing football like when we get up to high school as well. Luke's special gift. This one I found, kind of just easy, I thought. I found a special uh, scholarship to the Face Off Academy. It was sponsored by Mr. Rowe. But I got it. <laughs> but he just did it, and I think that the idea of that was he's, he really is a great face-off kid, and I like to really see him keep it on improving. Right, nice job, guys.